don't know if you can tell just how real the sweat and sawdust situation is. That's a horrible way to start a video. Welcome to the channel, guys. I'm disgusting. I've been starting a lot of my videos off with like little building projects and stuff like that. But this is not the usual reason. It's not for the super studio. This, this, we're actually building like a cat cave, a little cat enclosure so that cat can go outside. This project has just gotten so out of hand. It was supposed to be simple and cheap, just a thing and a barricade. And before we knew it, I ended up having to build a deck for, oh my God. I'm overheated. I've been going on this thing for like a week on and off and well, I'll just come back to it because I want to cool off and then I want to go fly. Never, never charge unattended, especially when it's on full blast off mode. Okay, okay. Speed bump! Hey. Uh, speed bump! Speed bump! Okay, they're named speed bumps, okay. that doesn't mean you hit them with speed more bumps. speed. God. I'm looking for the shade because it's hot. All right, guys, we are at a new spot, an office spot that I've never flown before. Kate and I passed by it the other day. We stopped, gave it a walkthrough, and it looks prime. So I'm excited to get into this place. So because this is my first time flying this spot and it looks like there's a variety of different obstacles, including trees and concrete, I want to talk about something that I get asked about, which is how do I get good video? Um, this would be a great video topic for like an abandoned building, but I don't get to fly those as often. But this office space will still provide a good uh, good place for this. So I've got my long range module hooked up. I probably will use that. It's not that we're flying long range, but there will be obstructions, so we'll use this thing. For goggles, here, you know what? I'm gonna start off with this. This is my daily setup, which is just two small omnidirectionals. Just like the convenience of being able to put my goggles in the bag with the antennas on and it's just it's just convenient right and most of the time it gets the job done I mean you know I'm all playing in these trees and the video is video is really good could it be better if I was using higher performance antennas probably but whatever right so the the piece de resistance of this spot is this office area got this fun grid up front for all the power looping good times and then you can go inside so there's this courtyard and whoop I fail I fail safe I fail safe before my video went out which was surprising I thought the concept of this video was gonna be to uh, talk about video but hold on let me let me turn up my power Oof. Oh, okay, we got it back. So, actually, I really thought I was gonna have more problems with video, but we are up in the courtyard. So check this out, it's open up top, so the ultimate trick would be to dive right in. And I just don't know how that's gonna work, you know, if I'm gonna be able to. So right now, I'm testing it out as I'm just kind of flying around inside, so if I lose video or apparently fail safe, I'll just kind of drop down. Uh, maybe punch up. Drop down, preparing, just seeing what is even possible. Um, I Gosh, I thought I was gonna, oh no, I'm on the other side. <gasps> Oops, I thought I was coming back toward us. That was almost in the water. Um, anyways, I thought I was gonna have to put a patch on and maybe I still will. I mean, I, I still will, because that will improve the video so you guys can see the difference, but I mean, can I just send it? Well, there it is not clean yet but okay that was pretty good dude <laughs> props to rapid fire shoot So the uh, the plan for today was to show you how these little stubbies get the job done for most scenarios, but when you want to go 
behind obstructions, you wanna improve your antenna situation, but the, the, the reality is these, these things did awesome. I think the rapid fire module has a lot to do with how well <laughs> this still worked out. But just to show you, there still will be a performance improvement. So I'm doing two things here. I'm putting on an omnidirectional antenna that is on a stem. So it'll be away from my head that's full of water and all that stuff that's gonna reduce the uh, performance of the antenna, as well as a patch antenna, which is directional and has higher gain when you're in that direction. So I'm gonna put that patch antenna on and I'm gonna point it right toward, right toward the building so that the antenna can punch through the obstructions and we will, I think, see a, a performance increase, but I could have just left those things on. So, all right, we're gonna stand, how can I, I'm gonna move this camera. Okay, there we go. All right, I've got the camera repositioned so now I can stand here and actually point the patch. Yeah, there's there's definitely an improvement in video. Maybe not as much as as you might hope for. No, it's better. It's ooh, ooh, ooh. the controls still feel spongy. The receiver antenna I have in my quad is not in the best condition, so that's probably hurting my um, RF performance. But it's hanging in there. It's hanging in there. <laughs> Well, now we're just figuring out the lines. So, you know, what I want to be doing as I warm up to this spot is work the trees and the concrete into nice, long, flowy lines. Now, when I'm flying these trees, I'm outside of the cone of my directional antenna. So the patch is doing nothing when I'm over here. So, you know, that's, that's where you maybe want to consider running two Omnis because if I'm flying a a, a, if I'm covering a large distance and might go outside of the range of my patch, it's not helping. But why I do want it is so that when I come over to the, the building situation, I get the best video possible. Just figuring out what tricks are my defaults, what do I kind of do without even thinking about and seeing what I want to push into doing. Getting those dives lined up better. Oh yeah, I love this spot. My new favorite Florida spot, I think. Found a pole, found a pole. Can we get back? Come on, come on, turtle. Ah. Ooh, nice. Yup, saved it. Now I'm confused, I don't know which way is toward us and which way is, I think this is the wrong way. Yeah. You know what, let's just, could we split us this thing too? We're on the complete wrong side of the building. The controls are definitely spongy. I'm struggling to be precise, but that, that was pretty cool. Oh! There wasn't an exit. Okay, there's stairs. There's stairs you gotta watch out for. Chris? All right, all right, that's, that's the end of my fun. How do I Lumix? I think that's how I Lumix. Jimmy. Well, well, if you were here, I'm pretty sure this is the part where he'd say, the tutorial is over, guys. It's time to just go rip. All right, guys, so, yeah, the tutorial portion of this vlog is pretty much over. I think it's time to... What are you laughing at? Nothing, nothing. What is he laughing at? The surprise finding was that two Omnis did even better than I was expecting, even when I was behind concrete. And if I wasn't making a video about this topic and I saw how good the performance was, I probably wouldn't have bothered to change it. Um, but 
if I want to optimize performance or even explain how you should be optimizing performance, what you want to do is use a directional patch antenna that's pointed at what's like the main obstruction that you're flying. So the Omni covers me for like the trees and the other stuff that I kind of want to surf and play with, but I know that the, the, the best part is going behind that building and so that's where I point the directional. All right, hope that answered some questions for those of you that fly and want to know how I set up stuff. Let's do the, uh, let's do the Go. ripping. Too far. T today, there was a two shower situation. It was it was really hot. That spot was amazing. That might be my new favorite Florida spot. There's, there's a lot to do. I've been looking for a spot like that here that has a lot of flow, but then like one good area to just get into and inevitably crash a lot. But I don't I don't know if I got exactly what I was looking for from there. I really would love to put out a flight edits from that spot, like a dedicated flight video that just links everything together in long, continuous flows and get in all the good stuff. And I mean, I feel like I got some pretty good clips, but I don't know, not quite what I'm looking for. Just, I want to go back. I want to go back. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hello, cat. Hello. Can you say subscribe? Can you say subscribe? Meow. Meow scribe. <laughs> It's a couple days later, the vlog was already over, but today's now Cade's last day, so I wanted to make sure he got to say goodbye to the vlog, and uh, I, was hoping, I was hoping we'd make a couple more videos while we were here, but Hello, time just flew by. Time, time moved Dead. fast. Did you have a good summer internship? Yep, uh, you keep, like, uh, that's not even a question. To think about how many thousands of people who would love to be put in my position, and I'm the one who gets to go, it just, it means so much to me. No, man, you earned it. You did great. It was awesome having you. Thanks for being here. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. Wish you were here longer, but you'll come back, I'm sure. We're, um, we're out for one last rip. Vanny's in town. We're, we're trading one kid for, for the other. Uh, all right, guys. For real this time. Oh, God! We'll see you later. Oh, <laughs> God!